Hey, familia, what's going on? We did it. Oh my God, every time I go live, it's so crazy. It's, it's, Facebook especially is not letting me go live. I have to do 100,000 things and they put all this, it's been half an hour trying to go live. And that's why I'm starting to go live on Instagram because if they cut me off Facebook, I still got Instagram too, familia. <laughs> Connecting with all of you. Thank you so much for joining us. We are talking today about the art and science of success and what is really success and, and you know, a little bit, whatever I can help you with success and what does it really mean, right? Starting by that. But thank you all for being here, first of all. Let me know when you jump in. Let me know when you are around. I'd love to hear from you and where are you tuning in from? Remember, we are creating a vortex of energy. So thank you, my Instagram family also for tuning in. We are creating a vortex of energy together. Every time we go live, we're uniting the whole world. Usually over 50 countries just get together. That's why I do it at this time. Some of you are in 5 a.m., 6 a.m. in the morning. Some of you are 9 p.m., 10 p.m. at night, but we, we get together and we breathe and we, and we go deep. So... Thank you for being part of this. Sofia, Natalie, Noel, Ola, hi, Jackie, Alenka, Marilyn, Monica, beautiful. Marcia, Aluzde, Diana, Jesswool, Amaiterra. Amazing guys, beautiful, beautiful family we've got here. Thank you all for being here. I really love just coming live and connecting with you all. And um, it's been um, a very, very, very crazy beginning of the year. How how you guys been feeling it? What's going on in your life? <laughs> wow. Right. It's, it's, uh, it's interesting what's happening after oof, the big transition we had in December. What's going on in our worlds? I personally have been having the most amazing in the deepest meditations I've ever had in my life. I'm going to two, three hour meditations like nothing. It happens in seconds. I am feeling so connected to, to my essence, to my soul, to my purpose, to my service. It feels really good. I'm really grateful for that. And at the same time, in the 3D world, when I come out and play, right? Because then I, that's my quantum reality. But when I come out and play and put it in the, in the 3D, there's, there's been a lot of gaps on how to navigate the world and, and keep that, that energy that I feel in that space of infinite possibilities, keep it in the best way possible. And this is what I want to talk to you guys about. And I feel so important to, to share with you because I feel there's a lot of incoherency between what's happening energetically in the world, be inside of us, and then outside. There, there, there's still this like coherency that has to happen between that. And I know there's a lot of purging going on, right? Many of you have reached out to me like, Quampa, I'm going crazy. All this is coming up. I thought I dealt with like all this stuff from childhood or all this stuff from my past. And, and now it's coming up as never before. Did I not do the work? What, what's, what did I do wrong? Guys, you didn't do anything wrong. It's part of what's going on right now in the planet. The energetics is aligning such a way that it's going to clear you from within. It's the only way we're going to step to the best life ever. What we call the fifth dimension, the golden age, the win for all where we're all resonating in a different place where, you know, there's no envy, there's no competition, there's no violence, there's not all these low vibrations that we've been submerged with and kind of playing around with at the same time, right? One, one, one right there. That's beautiful. So, um, yeah, once you, once you clear that from your system, you won't visit those places anymore. That's what living in the 5D means. 5D is here and now. M many people think 5D is like, oh, I'm seeing unicorns and rainbows and oh my God, it's just the colors and the light and the light beings. And I mean, it could be that, but it's not even about that. How can we bring the energy piece into the now? How can we bring the energy piece into your business? How can we bring the energy piece into how you serve the world? What you give back? 
Because in service, that's when we are going to transform the world. That's real success. You can have as much money as you want. You can have the most amazing relationship. You can live in the biggest house, in the most amazing place ever. That if you're not serving in any way, if you're not sharing your gifts, if you're not offering yourself in selfless service, there's always going to be a gap inside. Human beings came to planet Earth to serve. It's our purpose number one. Okay, let me repeat that. Purpose number one, it's not making money, it's not being successful, it's not having or doing, is being. I am. And when I am, I serve. Because when I am and I feel fulfilled with my life, I feel complete with my life, I feel so good, like, like the cup is kind of overflowing, that I just want to share it with the world. I just want to. I don't even know how. It can be with a smile. It can be with a, with a hug. It can be like just giving an advice. It can be just being in silence. It can be commenting on a Facebook post, on an Instagram. It can be doing a post, doing a Facebook Live. I don't care how that is, but you just want to give. You see me, guys, like, and I'm going to do it more on Instagram now. I need to be doing Facebook like lives all the time. I need to be sharing all the time. I need to be doing videos all the time. It's not because it's not because that feeds my ego. It's the other way. That feeds my soul. Some people are like, oh yeah, you're all about the likes and that's all you want. I don't even care about the likes. I just want to share. And if nobody watches, I know that at some point somebody's going to feel, if I touch one person, I'm good. If one person, if I change the life of one person and that person would change their families and that family would change another family and a community and that's how we change the world. Guys, one word at a time, one smile at a time, one breath at a time. This is real success. Success comes from within. All that idea that we have, what is success based on the outside world? It's first from within. And then it's reflected outside. And that's really the science and art. Because once you've nailed it, you can come and go. Sometimes you make more money, sometimes less. Sometimes, you know, you're, you're doing what you love and sometimes you don't. But, you know, you're navigating life. It doesn't matter. But once you found that inner success, once you found you, once you found your own codes, who you are, why you're here, what's your authenticity, What's your uniqueness? You stop looking like, what? who did that post? What did he do? What did she do? What, what? Really? Is that true? What he's saying? Is that true? Oh my God, I haven't done that. I don't have this. I don't. I'm working on my ego. I'm working just on the shell. You never know outside of you what's going on. Who's done what? How is that person feeling? Who cares? It's all about that inner success. But if you keep looking outside and comparing yourself with people outside and with situations outside, you're playing the game. You're getting stuck in the 3D. And that's all that illusion. That's why some people, so many people get looped in this. Oh, but I've done so much work, but I still i am not doing this. I haven't achieved that. I had this goal and I didn't do it. Oh, maybe next year. <laughs> right? Many times we're like, oh, I was going to lose weight. Oh, I didn't do it. I, I'm already eating the same sugar and the same chocolate. You know, maybe next year. It's okay. I'll, I'll let go of my goals for now. Really? It's okay. You ate your chocolate yesterday. Wake up and have your smoothie. Wake up and, you know, go for a walk. Wake up and move the energy. It's all about the now. But many times we get lost in that current reality, we get lost as if this was all there was. And we forget we are energy. We are a soul living a human experience. The moment you realize that, the moment you remind yourself of that, that moment you're successful. So step number one for success. Guys, it's not your action. It's not a strategy. It's not outside of you. Right? <laughs> step number one is realize, remember who you are. Why do we get so lost in the mind, in the craziness of the mind? Remember who you are. You are already perfect. You are already complete. You are already whole. Right? Give me some love if you feel me, guys. Yes? I am whole. I am complete. I am enough. 
Yes, I am perfect the way I am. Perfect the way I am. Because I'm talking from the soul. Let me know if you guys are feeling me. And guys, especially from Facebook, if you can share this, I invite you to share this Facebook Live. We're going to go super deep. This is just the beginning. And um, I really want to share this information because I see so many people lost in what success is. What really success is. And getting lost in the illusion of matter. Thinking that success is material. Thinking that success is about titles. Thinking that success is about having. And they forget it's about being and the perfection of life, and how we are already that, that we want to be. <laughs> so please give some shares. Please share with your tribe. Please let's, let's, let's share this love and help as many people as we can. Get them out of the illusion. Get, get them out of the loop of thinking they have to struggle, they have to push, they have to try so hard in order to achieve something in order to be happy. Can we be happy right now? Can you see yourself as successful right now? Please write, I am success. I am success. Write, write it there, like say it to the world. I am success. It's not even I am successful. You see the difference? It's I am success itself. I am actually success because I am a soul. And the soul is sparkle, a divine sparkle of God or universe or unified field, however you want to call it. Once you acknowledge who you are, once you acknowledge you are the soul, once you acknowledge you are the energy, once you acknowledge you are the field, personalized, materialized, momentarily in a body, once you realize that, you can say, I am success. You see the difference? It's not I am successful. I am success itself. <laughs> can it be that easy? Yes. Yes. It's, this life is about realizing who you already are. So many people trying so hard to be better, to reconnect, to, you know, to, to, to grow and develop themselves and, you know, personal development and all this ego work to be a better person. You are already the best person ever right now. You are already, guys. Can you accept that? Can you love yourself? You are already perfect. There's, there's a sparkle in you that's already perfect. The question is, are you living from that sparkle? That's the difference. That's the click we got to do. Because the sparkle is always there. Always. The diamond is always there. It's never going to go. No matter what. It's never going to go. It's part of your left essence. It's what keeps you alive and beating. Huh? <laughs> but once you realize that, guys, it's, it's rewiring yourself. It's retraining yourself that that is who you are. It's, it's not the face, it's not the beard, the da, da, di, da, da. Yeah, you can dress well, you can look nice. Yeah, that's just an expansion of you realizing the king and the queen that you are. The empire that you have manifested around you starts from within by accepting your inner empire. It's not about the outside. I have so many emperors coming to my coaching and to my quantum flow methodology. You know, oh, I have this, I have that, I've done this and that. Okay, how are you feeling? How do you feel with yourself deeply inside, sincerely, raw and real? Well, that emptiness, that loneliness, I don't know how to fill it up with. And I, no matter what I buy, no matter how much I sex I have, no matter what I do, it's always there. It's like I'm running away from myself. You can't run away from yourself. <laughs> but you can't run away from yourself. <laughs> oh, I'm hearing a lot of I am success here. I'm looking a lot of I am success. That's good, guys. It's good you realize that. I'm so happy. You, we get so lost. It's like, it's like, you know, like, I am powerful. I am lovely. 
I am abundant. No, 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 no. Go beyond that. Change your mindset, guys. This whole thing of the, uh, the law of attraction, it's very distorted. There's a lot of distortion in that. There's like this, this like layers. Don't, don't play the layers. Go straight to source. You are source itself. I am abundance. It's not I am abundant. I am abundance itself. Are you kidding me? Look around you. Look at nature. Look at the inner nature. Right? Go in, go in, go in, go in and, and just check in with how the trillions of cells in your body communicate. How the perfection of your body makes the heart beat. Just go and study the body, the biophysics, the bioelectronics of your body, the neurocircuitry. And once you've done that, you're like, oh my God, I'm perfect already. I'm doing nothing. <laughs> doing nothing. The only part that gets in the way, it's my ego. It's my distorted mindset that has been programmed since I was born. But my essence is untouchable. It's unstoppable. It's unsustainable. Okay? Let me repeat that. Your essence, our essence, I am, it's untouchable. It's unstoppable. It's unsustainable. It's unabusable. Nobody can betray you. Nobody can abuse you. Nobody can stain you or manipulate you. They can't. You let it happen. And we get lost in the circumstances. They can't. They can do whatever to your body, to your ego, to your money, to your car, to your house. To you, you, yeah, yeah, that's true. And you got to, you know, set your limits and, and what you tolerate and don't tolerate and heal, you know, whatever abuse you've had. And I've been abused in so many ways in my life. You know, I've, I've had to have so much healing in order for me to feel successful. Because no matter how successful I was, I was a champion since I was a kid winning all the races, and then I got into triathlon, and I was a professional triathlete champion at 13 years old, and then a champion swimmer at 14 years old, and then a champion bodybuilder at 16 years old. I was a winner. I was bored. I was like, I'm here to win. So what? I felt so empty. People outside would say, Juanpa, you're so successful. You're going to be whatever you want in life. And I felt like a piece of nothing. I had to be proving myself all the time. I was in proving mo mode. It was so exhausting. Guys, isn't it exhausting? <laughs> when you gotta be proving yourself. Proving what? Who's proving what? Is your unfulfilled ego. And you know what? Your ego will not be fulfilled. You can't be successful from your ego. Trust me, guys. I've had all the money. I have, I've had all like the, the best relationships, like the best woman or the, or the, the, the woman that I, I liked and, and, and the money and the things and the clothes and the, all of it and felt nothing and felt disconnected and felt empty. I've been there. I know what it is doing. I know how empty it is because I'm trying to attain it from outside. So the first is like, what fills you up? What helps you go within and realize who you are? What helps you remember who you are? For me, like the first thing I do, and you got to find your own, of course, but what I recommend is as soon as you wake up, Clear your unconscious mind. Don't go into your day with the unconscious mind thinking a thousand things that are not supporting your mission in that day. Whatever it is. As soon as you wake up, first advice I want to give you in order for you to connect with your soul, purge your mind. If you've never journaled, I recommend get a journal. Have it beside your, 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 your uh, bed. Have a pen or a pencil. As soon as you wake up, purge whatever is coming through so you can start observing what you're carrying inside of you. Because your unconscious mind, the veil between the conscious, the unconscious mind is very thin as soon as you wake up. And that's why you, we, we wake up with all these distorted thoughts and feeling maybe not that good and like kind of lost and where am I and what's happening today and oh my God, it's so heavy. Now what? And we go into this negative mindset. We start with a negative mindset, right? 
But you can train yourself. You don't have to start by that. That's not normal, guys. You can start with a crystalline, clear mind. Usually, I start like that. Some days, I don't. But I don't care. It's okay. Okay, thank you. Welcome thoughts. Ooh, where am I thinking that I'm not good enough? Where am I thinking like something bad's going to happen today or something's going to happen to my son or to my partner or, 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 or whatever. I'm not going to uh, create that that I want to create. Whatever. I don't care. I just observe it. I've trained myself not, not to get caught up in the loops of the mind because you are not your mind. So, like, number one for being successful is learn to observe, learn to take a step back and say, all right, let me just observe my mind. Let me write it down. You don't have to be a writer for this. Trust me, I, I, I used to hate writing. You just write it down and start purging, purging, purging. Oh, my God. Okay. Whoa. Look at this. Then you go and look at your journal and you're like, where is this coming from? This is what I'm carrying in my unconscious mind. And if you, if you, if you don't go and look at it and you don't go and, and bring it out and heal it and clear it and unravel it, 95% of your actions come from your unconscious mind, not from your conscious mind. You know, we have a lot of clients that come into like, I am abundant. I am success. I am da da da. And they've done a lot of affirmations and a lot of, you know, law of attraction and all that. And then you're like, okay, that's cool. But uh, what's inside? How do you wake up in the morning? What's your unconscious mind saying? Let's talk about that because you've nailed really good the emotion. You've nailed really good the mindset. But what's underneath that mindset? Because what happens is like they don't deal with the core of it. They deal with the top. So the tip of the iceberg is used to positive thinking. I am amazing. I am enough. I can do this. And they get hyperactive and they get like super pumped, you know. <laughs> and it works in the moment you feel it. But... Sooner or later, it's going to do, it's, it's exhausting. It's not sustainable. So how do you let, let it actually flourish naturally from the inside out? It's like you got to cultivate it. You got to clear whatever's holding you back from having the unconscious mind sending the most amazing vibes ever from within. That's real success. If you're just sitting down and you're just like flowers are coming out of your head, you know, thoughts are like flowers that you're giving flowers to the universe. Now we're talking. Now that's the big work that you've done. You've done the alchemy. The alchemy of what? Not of creating those thoughts, of releasing all the unconscious mind that's not letting you be a conscious, positive thought machine. You can be a conscious, positive thought machine. That's who you could be if you learn how to release and unravel all this stuff that we've been carrying, right? And actually, if you want to go deeper on this theme, which is all about alchemy and release, please comment below with detox because I'm going to do a webinar full on, an hour and a half webinar. We're going to go super deep with an activation and I'm going to tell you all the art and science of alchemy. I'm going to go deeper into that theme. That's not exactly what's going on today, but we have a, a webinar designed for that. So I know many of you have enrolled, but if you haven't and you've, it's the first time you hear it, I invite you to just um, write detox below and I will send you all the details. Okay, it's going to be really deep. We're going to go deep on the science and art of alchemy, how to release all those negativity, negative thoughts and emotions that are within you that sometimes we don't know how to deal with them and we try to change from the outside, but you're never going to change. They're always going to come back. And don't feel bad about commenting about that, guys. 95% of humanity don't know how to deal with it. That's why we're so wired to to, to work outside. It's all about the outside world. How I look, the car I drive, who's my partner, what's my title, what's my work, what do people think of me, what do they, uh, are, what are they talking about me? Like we're very lost in the outside world in these two eyes because we have forgotten to connect with this one eye, the one eye, right? 
the intuition, the Agna Chakra, right? It comes from the center of the brain, pituitary, pineal gland activation. They reconnect, they make love again, masculine and feminine. In your brain, you have an orgasm <laughs> as part, part of quantum flow and part of what we're going to be talking about, how to create or brain orgasms, which become a, a whole body orgasm. <laughs> and then you're like, okay, you're making love with the universe. Then you're like, oh, now I get it. I am love. <laughs> but that only happens when you have released all this luggage that we've been carrying, Right? that nobody taught us how to release, right? So we're gonna be using the body. It's very important to use the body, the mind, the emotions and the energy, all of them, to align them with the soul, right? So one of the tools that we offer is this, like, hey, journal, clear your unconscious mind, start knowing yourself, start knowing the core of your thoughts. What is the core of your negative thoughts? Where do they, come from. They're not just there. They're there for a reason. They're there to teach you something, right? So let's get to the core of them. Then this is going to help you purge. I'm going to talk more about different per types of purging that we have in alchemy. But this is the first thing I do like at least three, four times a week. And, and, and until I'm not even purging anymore, I'm just writing my intentions. I, I'm just writing the day, my day. I'm just, I'm just writing like what I'm creating in the world and how amazing life is. I, I don't even have these negative thoughts, but I've done the whole world, the whole work of, of clearing the unconscious mind. So, so I recommend you, you go into that, right? And after you do the, the, um, that clearing of your mind, do some breath. If you've done some quantum flow breath, I know many of you have done quantum flow, right? And you're already into it. You know about it. Uh, if you haven't, you know, reach out and, and we can share some stuff. I'm going to be talking about this in the webinar too, if you want to go deep into that. And if not, whatever breath that works, like get your body breathing. Because as soon as you wake up, if you start breathing deeply and activating from within, your whole mind changes, your energy changes, your whole day is going to be different. Ch ch like, trust me, you're going to be like set for success for the day if you start with breath. Then after breath, you can meditate a little bit and do some visualization and connect. What are you creating? Like, like go over your day, just what attitude... I'm having, what's the vibration, how am I feeling, how am I feeling when I go and connect with that person that sometimes there's challenges, how am I feeling when I'm going to go and do a Facebook Live, or I'm going to go and offer a course, or I'm going to go and, and share with my partner or with my family, like set yourself for success to be the best version of you wherever you're going, whatever you're doing. Start with your mind, guys, start, start making this aligned to your soul, aligned to your vision. That's, it's all about really the brain, the mind. Let's, let's have some brain coherency, some brainwave coherency starts with the brain, coherency with the heart, which is your emotions, coherency with the core, which is the power of your soul. And this is what we're going to talk in the webinar, deeper, the detox webinar if you want to join us, right? We're going to go super deep into that. It's ab about aligning the core, the heart, and the mind. So this is, this is how I set my day, my day for success. I start like that. I visualize. I connect. Sometimes, as I was saying, now I've been meditating for two hours, two hours and a half. It's just the way it is. I wake up at 3.30, 4 a.m. in the morning. Naturally, my eyes are like, ping, and I just go for it. I'm like, okay. It looks like the universe <laughs> wants me early right now. And I know it's the best time ever to meditate. You don't have to do it. It's not about being an early bird or not. I would say maybe wake up half an hour before what you're used to. So you can, you can take care of yourself. You can love yourself. You know, and you can set your, your day for success, right? And then after that, the first thing I do is I do my inner shower. So after I've done my meditation, my breath, I'm feeling good. I'm connected. I'm like... Oh, it's going to be the best day ever, right? It's like, yes, <laughs> I can feel it because I've done the work. It's not just like convincing me to do it. When you do the breath and you do the meditation and you, and you align yourself to that, you, you actually feel it. You're actually aligned to that, right? So once you've done that, hey, the inner shower. Many people think about the outer shower. I think about the inner shower first. So what for me is the inner shower? Warm water can be 
temperature, room temperature, I recommend warm, warm water and lemon. Little bit of lemon. If it's hard for you, just, just some drops of lemon, or it can be essential oil of lemon, or just, you know, a whole lemon if you want. Actually, in the detox, we do a whole like journey called revitalize, rejuvenate, and, and restore. It's all about clearing everything and opening up, and, and we get to a full cleanse of up to nine lemons, and that just pff, blows you up in a 100,000 pieces. <laughs> you just clear everything away. You know, sometimes it's too much for certain people and they can't take it. They just take one lemon, but they do it in a certain way that it clears. What happens with the lemon or lime is that it enters and it helps you activate your pituitary gland. So it's not only a detoxifier, it's not only alkalizing your body because it's acid, but once it enters your body, it, it's super alkaline. So uh, that means it's antioxidant. That means it's releasing uh, free radicals. That means it's like rejuvenating you and clearing you, right? From all the rubbish from, from, the, from, the, from what, what we created in the sleep, right? So once you get it, it not only does that, but it activates your pituitary gland. And your pituitary gland starts segregating uh, human growth hormone, Mm -hmm. which we stop segregating after a certain age, we can reactivate it again. You start segregating, you start juicing it up. And this actually helps you come back to your natural weight. It helps you feel good. It helps you uh, feel connected and present, sleep well, be calm. It helps the neurochemistry, the brain come back to its natural state, right? Then it also helps decalcify the pineal gland which is actually being calcified like a shell of calcium, which doesn't let the pineal gland, your pineal gland is a transducer. Your pineal gland is like, a, it's like an antenna. That's what, what receives the energy, right? From the ethers. We're actually an antenna, right? We can tune in to the highest energy or not. It depends on, on, on how aligned you are. But once you start doing these practices and you don't wake up and just have your coffee or have your, your whatever, ham and cheese or whatever, you know, that's actually lower your vibration before doing that. Take a lemon with water. Go for a walk. Go to the gym. Do your quantum flow. If you know about quantum flow, that's when you do your quantum flow. And, if, you know, if you want to lose weight or get into peak performance, we recommend a lot the, the quantum flow embodiment. Why? Because it accelerates the metabolism the fastest way possible. I've done all the practices here and there. I've, I've never accelerated my metabolism and felt that it's so easy to keep my weight with 20 minutes, 15 minutes a day. That's all I need, you know, it's, 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 it's amazing because of how it works. But you find your own technique, you find your own method, whatever works for you, it's okay. Go for it with just lemon water in your body. That's all you need. That's all you need, okay? Trust me. You'll feel amazing. Your metabolism is going to explode. It's going to feel so good, okay? After you've done that, I recommend doing, going to nature in some way, even if it's the garden. Just walking barefoot, right? Putting your hands on, 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 the, on the soil, on a tree, something that's alive, that's connected to the earth. Why? Because you've slept. If you don't sleep with a grounding mat, which I recommend you to have, a grounding mat, you can connect it to the electricity and it helps you ground. It helps you connect with the energy of the earth so you are not bombarded by all the Wi-Fi and all the EMF. Um, energies that can affect your field and can affect you at a cellular level. The Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi, all that, it's actually affecting your auric field and shrinking it. So when you're grounding yourself, and if you don't have a grounding mat, again, I recommend to get a grounding mat, an earthing mat, right? If you don't have it, even more, you have to go and ground first thing in the morning, connect with the earth so you release all the all the uh, EMF that you're carrying, all the electromagnetic frequencies that, that, that are negative, that are, are actually lowering your field. You know, the moment you connect with the earth, it takes a minute for you to clear yourself from all these negative um, energies that we're carrying. One minute, guys. Takes 15 minutes to alkalize your whole body, just connecting with the earth. How amazing is that? Do, do you know the earth is medicine? 
Have you guys realized this? We have the medicine right there and sometimes we're looking and paying whoever what's going to whoever what and you know having to read so many books and doing so many things when it's just there it's outside our garden right <laughs> it's amazing right all these little things we can do to live in success why because once you connect with the earth what happens in your brain is your left and right side of the of the brain getting synchronicity it happens naturally even if you don't believe in God, you know, even if you're an atheist and like, I don't believe in that stuff. I don't believe in energy. That doesn't work. It doesn't matter. It's, it's neurochemistry that happens. It happens the moment your skin touches the earth. This happens in your body. It's science. You don't have to believe in it or not. It's not about having faith. That's what happens when you contact the earth directly. That's the beauty of it. So even people that are close to it or whatever, they are getting aligned with that so it, ain't that amazing like the, the earth loves everyone even if they are you know they have their hearts closed because that's what usually happens guys if you if you encounter people like this that you see them like grumpy and maybe you're you're someone like me that's like yeah life is so good and like i just love and you're tapped into energy and you're tapped into intuition and you're tapped into the magic of life and you see someone that isn't tapped in and it's actually criticizing that and it's actually judging you or 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 trying to bring you down or trying to make you feel how ridiculous you are or whatever have love and compassion for them all that's happening is that their heart is closed and they're seeing life like this that's all that's happening you have to send love to them don't let yourself be touched or your principles of life be moved in any way because someone doesn't believe in what you believe because you need to convince someone of something i'm not convincing anyone of anything anymore guys you know it's like here I speak my truth or whatever, but when I'm outside and I'm with family or I'm with friends or I'm with, and all kinds of conversations come up, you know, about vaccines and about COVID and about what's going on. And, and you know, sometimes I don't even comment because I just see minds, egos proving each other who's best, who knows more. And all that, all that. I can't even enter that. I can't. Like my soul says, no. It's like, you know what? It's like putting pearls to pigs. That's how we say in Costa Rica. Poniéndole perlas a los chanchos. <laughs> you don't want to give pearls to pigs, right? You actually want to love them. So when I see people caught up in like egoic discussions or mind discussions or too much rationality, for me, success is not like... Look, I'm going to prove to you that I know what I mean. And I read this book and I, I know this science. And I'm like, you know what? Sooner or later, these guys are going to see that this is not the right way. And they're going to come look for me. And they do. Sooner or later, my friends, my family, when they see the lifestyle I have, when they look into my eyes, when they feel my smile, when they feel my hug, when they feel my vibration, not because of what I'm talking. It's not my ego. When they feel my vibration... In my commitment to being a high vibration. That's all I need, guys. They're like, Wampa, I saw you like completely silent. Like, I love to hear, like, what are your thoughts about? Do you really want to hear? Are you ready? <laughs> and then it's like, all right. <laughs> yes. And they're like a sponge. They're like, whoa, tell me more. That resonates. Oh, my God. Yes, yes, yes. But they come and look for me. They come and ask me. I'm not trying to convert anyone. That's not success, guys. I don't need to prove anything. I don't need to convince even my mom or my dad or not even my son. You know, not even my son because my son at certain moments, he was very programmed from school. So when he would see me in my stuff, in my energy stuff, he's like, dad, you're crazy. Like everybody laughs at you in school. Like I'm embarrassed that you're my dad. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. He was like 11 years old and whatever. I would go and I would walk barefoot in the, you know, in the, in, in, in the, in the garden of the school, the soccer field. And I would play soccer barefoot. That, that, that's how I play soccer. I'm sorry. I, in the earth, I'm going to be barefoot. I'm a jungle man. You know, I'm not going to stop being who I am because what are they going to say or think? And I'm sorry, my son, like if that embarrasses you, but that's who I am, man. <laughs> you used to struggle so much. Why aren't you a normal dad? And I would tell him, like, you know what? Because I am success. I am love. I choose to live from my soul. 
I'm not living for my ego. I don't care what people say. And he wouldn't understand me. But there was a moment when he clicked and he's like, but I just hate like all like the, I just hate all the bullying. I just hate all the comparison. I just hate how, how, how my friends treat each other, how they treat me, even how I treat them. Like what's going on? He started asking me. Because I would go and just plant little seeds, you know. I couldn't force him because you know how they are. Starting the teenager, you can't force anything. You're going to create a, rebe a rebellion. that They're going to run away from you. I would start drinking my smoothies, right? You know, I drink. This is something I recommend um, after you do the, the, the lemon drink in the morning. When you come back, you have a smoothie. You don't eat like a dense food. You keep your liquids going. Have a juice or have a smoothie. I have a superfood smoothie. I put like greens in there. I put like a protein powder, vegan protein powder, like high vibe. I put like superfoods like chia, like goji berries, like medicinal mushrooms, like reishi, cordyceps, um, chaga, like all these goodies you can find. You could just Google superfoods and you'll find a hundred thousand smaka and lucuma and like, oh my God, there's so much you can put in. We have a party, right? We have in our house, we have a party of superfoods and it's always, it's, it's playful. And, and he would see me and I go into it and I would use like, oh my God, this is the best ever. You're going to feel so good about this habit. And he's like, it was green, right? Because there's so many greens. There's like 20 kinds of greens. And he was like, he would vomit and I'm like man I can't believe it like it even tastes good because I would put dates and 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 goji berries and all these all these exquisite superfoods like it would be like a $40 thing I was giving him you know the best of the best tasting like a sweet uh, dulce de leche pie or something <laughs> I mean it's like Oh, Dad, I can. It's green. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, okay, I get it. I get it. Thank you. It was hard, guys. It was hard because it was with all my love. And I would see him like still eat. He was, he was vegetarian because he chose to, but he was eating a lot of rubbish. He was eating ha like um, uh, bread and cheese, a lot. Bread and cheese, right? I'm a vegetarian. I don't kill animals, but bread and cheese or spaghetti and cheese and i'm like oh my god this is my son like <gasps> what do i do <laughs> you parents get me right you parents get me it's so hard right and instead of fighting with it instead of trying to convince him i'm like okay man okay i get you so what i would do i would wake up I would blend the thing and then, and then I would drink it and I would go around the house drinking it and I would be lifting weights and I would be like, I would get really pumped with my muscles and then I would drink it and I'm like, oh my God, I feel so good. I feel so strong. Touch, Danny, touch my muscles, man. Come, come, touch, touch. And he's like, whoa, dad. Oh my God, one day I want to be like that. I'm like, oh yeah, no, no, it's okay, man. It's going to take you so long. You got to drink these horrible smoothies that you don't even like, but they even taste amazing. Oh my God. And I would just go away. And I would drink it and I would start running or I would drink it and I would do like, you know, a hundred push-ups or something like that. And that was my way. And he was all into like, he wanted to be strong. He wanted to look good. He was super lean. And, and I didn't say anything. And all of a sudden he started coming to me like, dad, do you think we could do that smoothie? Maybe less green and like, just add that stuff that makes you strong. <laughs> and all of a sudden he was drinking smoothies, guys, with me. And nowadays... He creates the morning smoothies for everyone. Just for your information, Danny is the most expert smoothie maker in the world <laughs> for me. You know, I finish my quantum flow, I come, and he's got the best smoothie that I can imagine. My son. But I didn't force him into it. I invited him to him with my vibe. That is success. You invite your clients with your word vibe. You don't go looking for them. You don't push into it. You don't hustle. We're done with that. That's like sales. No, no, no. You don't need to sell anything. Once you've tapped into your purpose, all you do is just serve the world. Just share your message. Just be you. Don't try to convince anyone. Are you guys getting me? It's much simpler than we think, but we've never been wired like that. Nobody taught us this. There's so many loops and labyrinths we get lost in, right? It's crazy. 
Anyway, so that's my, that's my, my, I've, I've set up, I would, I wouldn't even call it habits. I almost just crave that lifestyle. I've created a lifestyle that I crave. And this is some of the things I want to talk about in the detox webinar. If you just, if you guys just jumped in, um, uh, I'm going to do a detox uh, webinar for free. It's going to be more on alchemy, like releasing, how to release old patterns, suffering patterns, procrastination, um, self-sabotage, not feeling good enough. All those parts of ourselves that we have hidden in there, right? Like I'm going to, I'm going to share with you how you can release that from your nervous system, not only from your mind, but from where the memories hold it, where is your nervous system. And I'm, I'm going to be sharing that. So if you haven't um, commented below yet, comment below with detox and I'll share with you the link. It's going to be for free. We're going to go super deep. 90 minutes going super deep. At least 90 minutes. Get ready. Could be more, but you can watch the replay if it's too much for you. <laughs> you never know. Wampa's webinars and how he's going and what's going on and, and you guys' energy. If you guys pump it up, you'll have me for two hours with you guys going super deep. Any questions you have, anything you want to share, like that's what I'm all about. You know, I give it all, right? I, that's 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 how I, what I love and that's how I serve. So we're, comment below with detox if you want to know more about that and you you join in our in our in our our super super webinar that's beyond detox don't think i'm gonna be talking about how to detox your body and drink this smoothie and they, i mean that's 10 percent of of an important detox but i see so many people get lost in a detox as if the detox was just drinking green juices as if the detox was just you know eating raw food or doing this or that diet i'm not about diet i'm not about sacrifice i'm not about trying so hard to lose weight I have clients that have tried all the methodologies to lose weight in so many ways. They come and try the quantum flow method. They come and try what I'm going to share with you on, on the webinar and they lose weight like that. We have people in 30 days losing 30 pounds, 35 pounds, 25 pounds, like all kinds of stuff. Why? Because you do it in the right way with the right mindset when you're not forcing yourself. You're actually resetting your whole digestive system. When you reset your digestive system, you actually start craving the best food for you. Not because it's good. Not because you read it in a book. Not because they told you. Not because the nutritionists recommend that for you. And you have to like, you know, I hate that. <laughs> Life is for enjoying, guys. And and eating is so important. It's so good, right? Drinking is so good. You can savor it if you know how to do it. And if you know how to do the right mixes and all that. So we're going to be talking about that. But know that alchemy, it's actually 10% is what you're eating. It's so much more. It's about the breath. It's about the mindset. It's about the energy. It's about the nervous system. So we're going to be talking about that. And that's what really sets you up for success once you nailed everything, right? So... It is very important. It's like the fuel for your body. But I see so many people get stuck in juices and food and they are organic and they are vegan and they are raw. And what's coming out of their mouth is judgment, is criticism, is bringing other people down, is laughing because people eat meat or they eat that or they do this. And it's all about a low vibration. They're not vibrating in love. So I'm like, I don't know, like, I know people that eat meat, but they're pure love. They're not judging anyone. They're, they're, they're really like, you can feel them and it's okay, whatever. They eat meat or, or they eat junk food or they, but they're so tapped in to their soul, to their heart. They're not in their minds trying to be perfect, trying to, to follow a certain regime, you know? And if you ask me, like, I don't call myself anything, even though my, my diet usually is 90, 95% raw vegan, but not because I'm a raw vegan. I'm not gonna, never gonna tell you that's your way. That's how my body resonates. I haven't eaten meat in like a year. I used to be 15 years vegetarian, you know? I haven't eaten meat in a year because I came back to meat because my body was asking for it and I did it in a very circuit way. And then I naturally let go of it. Not because it's bad, not because I'm this and you're that and we're separate. No, 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 no. It's because I tune into my body and that's what feels best for now. But, but if you do it with the right mindset, I feel it can be very flexible. You don't have to call yourself in a certain way or be in a certain way. And I respect, I, my, my, my friends are all like, they're vegan, some are carnivorous, some are, I, I have my family, you know, I don't determine my family by what they eat, but 
from the vibration where they're at, right? It's not about, oh, I just have vegan friends. I used to be like that. I can't be with someone that, you know, like eats meat or like, oh, it's junk food. Like I, that, I was, that was that me 15 years ago when I, when I was obsessed with nutrition and superfoods and the whole thing. I was, I was pretty extreme. So that's kind of gone. But, um, but yeah, I think um, uh, we can get to a balance and that's what we're going to be sharing with you guys, right? And that's what set us up for success. So now let me just see to set up for success this, 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 this phone. Let me just uh, connect it a second, guys, because it's going to go off anyway. Anyway, um, uh, Instagram, yeah, we've almost been an hour. So this is going to be off very soon. If you want to continue, I'm going to continue in Facebook. I'm sorry, I can't do the live so long. But um, I'm going to continue in, in my Facebook page, Juan Pablo Araona. If you want to join us, I'm sorry. I'm just seeing like we've got almost an hour of workshop we've been going through. So <laughs> if it cuts, just know that I'll be in the platform in Facebook. And sorry if you don't have Facebook, um, you can, uh, we can send you the replay or whatever. Just comment below with Detox if you want to join us in the webinar. We're going to go super deep in the webinar about these themes, okay? And continue the setting up for success it's like you gotta clear your body you gotta enter in the morning like having a clear mind and for me it is important to drink the lemon water it is important to then take a smoothie it is important to have a liquid diet when you when you when you learn about your body you learn that there are circadian rhythms and the circadian rhythm in your body is divided by eight hours right it's three chunks of eight hours so from 8 p.m. to 4 a.m., you're in a full digestion mode. You're like, let me digest everything I've eaten today. Like, oh my God, you're, you're in integration, right? You're, you're, you're taking it deep inside your body, right? At 4 a.m., you start the detox mode. So at 4 a.m., you are releasing. You're letting go, and that's why it's so important. And then that's why it's so important to, to, to be in the detox. And then at 12 is when your digestive fire is the best. That's when you want to eat the heaviest food or, or the most nurturing food because that's when you are ready to rock and roll. You see me? So this is the stuff that you have to do also or you can do so you can be in your best and you can, that success comes from within. You just feel so good. So this is what I recommend. Retrain yourself to wake up Feel really good about yourself. Feel really good about life. Get super clear. Get clear on your vision. Something that brings you energy, that wakes you up, that helps you feel alive and awake. And from there, you know, drinking the best smoothie that you can. After I drink the best smoothie that I can, then I sit down to work. Like, okay, now I'm here to serve. What's coming through? I'll do a video. I'll write a post. I'll reach out to a client. I'll check how my clients are, how my groups are. I'll reach out to people. Sometimes I do it before or after. It depends. There's no time for me. But this is something I incorporate as part of. And then I go and check every day. What have I done to follow up and nurture my success? Every day before I finish the day, how did I nurture my success today? What my vision was. Did, did I get distracted? Did I get, uh, did I procrastinate? Did I go and got lost somewhere? Check in with yourself all the time with love until you start seeing all those places where you kind of get off the way because you know you're going this way, but then you're like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. And you finish doing completely other things and you never wrote that post and you never uh, started writing your book and you never uh, offered that workshop you wanted to offer and you never reached out to the friend that you wanted to reach out and you never did what you said you were going to do because you kind of got lost, right? In the labyrinth of the mind of the world. So part of success is that, is setting yourself up, knowing yourself, being raw and real with yourself and saying, this is who I am right now, and this is how I work with, so I can expand. I'm not going to let myself get lost anymore with all my little things that carry me like a feather from side to side. I'm here to ground. I'm here to be the best version of me, and I'm committed to do whatever it takes to keep that. For me, for example, every two, three hours, I do my quantum flow. Five minutes, three minutes, I don't care. I move my body, I breathe, I activate, I release, I shake it off, whatever I need to get me again on flow state. I don't just do my morning practice. No, it's, it's the whole day, guys. Like, 
Why did I tune out? How can I tune in again? Where, where did I speak, didn't speak my truth? Where did I say yes when I wanted to say no? When did I say no when I wanted to say yes? Why did I let that person talk to me like that? Why am I in this work? I really don't like my work. This is not my purpose. What am I doing, Juanpa? Like, I question myself constantly. Come out of the zombie mode. Come out of the, this is just who I am. No, 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 no. Question everything constantly and start setting yourself, your goals to keep expanding and opening up for you to align to your soul and not only to your mind and to your ego. Your ego, it's completely changeable. You can be completely another person in months if you align to your soul. I've seen people change like from one day, they really committed and they let go of so much, so fast. You know how quantum flow works. We go really fast, really deep, and they release so much that after 30 days, after two months, their families are like, hello, who are you? Like, oh my God, hey, what's going on? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. So this is what happens when you commit to alchemy, guys, and you go deep and do the work and you surrender to the work. That is the real success, that success that comes from within. All right, we're gonna get cut off very soon also from Facebook. I know they're cutting me off around this time. So I, I, I'm gonna start slowing it down. I wanna thank you all so much for being here. Let me know if you're feeling good with the training. Let me know if you are feeling success. Yes, yeah, so many I am success here. Oh guys, you guys are best ever, best community ever. I love you all so much. Thank you for always showing up. So many detox written there. The team will get back right at you. I'll get back right at you too. So many beautiful people. Thank you all for being here. Oh my God, I love you. I love you. Oh, so much love. Instagram too. I'm loving coming up in a live Instagram too, guys. I'm going to be doing it more often. So, so it feels really good because you never know. Like I got cut off my platform three times already. I don't know if, you know, they cut me from one platform. Now I'm going to start using Instagram more. You never know, right? I'll be showing up here too. I'm finding other platforms too. I'll let you know, guys, when I find, uh, it looks like it's working well right now. We'll see what happens, but we're doing the best we can. If you want to join our tribe, please comment below with quantum. And we'll send you a link to the Quantum Flow Tribe where we're sharing everything about Quantum Flow. We're sharing everything about, you know, opening up to your full potential. It's all about opening up to your full potential, living in purpose as deep as you can. So there is a beautiful community of aligned beings that are ready ready to rock and roll. Actually, we're rock and rolling together and we're supporting each other. We're really supporting each other. Guys, it's the real deal. And, uh, you know, you can tell me. You can tell me, guys, here, if you don't feel that. I had, you look at this tribe. They're going off. <laughs> this tribe is from Facebook, guys. So if you could see all the comments in Facebook, you would go nuts because there's so many that are, are, are part of this tribe and know, they know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, guys, if you want to join the tribe and you want to be part of it and be supported in these challenging times and be connected to your deepest purpose and how can you serve in the best way possible and how you can be the best version of yourself. Connected to your soul, connected to your energy, connected to your quantum field. That's why we call it quantum flow because we're connecting to the infinite possibilities of the quantum field and we're bringing it to the flow of life. Quantum is energy. Flow is how we flow in life. Quantum flow. That's what we're doing. So guys, thank you all so much for joining us today. I'm going to say goodbye before they cut us off because I don't like it when I'm cut off like frozen. <laughs> I feel you guys so much. Please share this, this, this live. Um, if you can, please tag people. Let them know this is happening. Please invite them to the webinar if you can. This webinar is going to be amazing. It changes thousands of people lives I can tell you it's for free so you're welcome to join and just be part of it we're gonna rock it together so please comment below with detox if you want to join the webinar please share that's all I ask with this with this Facebook lives is share it with your tribe press the share button tag people that you know that can benefit from this and let's thrive together guys it's it's time to thrive it's time to be the best version of ourselves. 
Love you all so much. Have the best day ever. And we'll talk to you soon. All right? Pura Vida.